Park Six Ranch, where we're staying for tonight. Right there, the Grand Tetons. to hurt. Cowgirls here at the ranch's dog. Get it Susie! Get it! Hey everybody, we are here in Moran, Wyoming. It's like Moran but with an A in it. That's what, how I remember this. Um, but we've stayed here for the past two nights and we're gonna give you a quick tour of what it looks like. What do you think? It's amazing. I would stay here again. I mean, mind you, it's rustic, but if you know that going into it, you're great. Um, but yeah, we'll give you a tour of our little wagon that we had. Uh -huh. And um, and this is our view. It's a little hazy today, but the Grand Teton Mountains are over there. Just to the, right, right above that there. Right above that basketball hoop. Yeah. So It's still, there's a lot of smoke in the air from the wildfires. But, but we came here the second, third week of September and the leaves are absolutely gorgeous. We couldn't have timed it any better. No, so we're gonna walk through. Up there. So this is the wagon we stayed in. Wagon, wagon number, number two. two. So three steps. They have a little grate here that, four steps, excuse me, grate here that you can dust the mud off because it does get muddy when it rains. Uh, when we walk in, you've got um, four, uh, beds here, four twins, bunk beds, two bunk beds on each side. You have a light switch here that um, takes care of these lights up here, which uh, pretty cool, handy. Um, little ladders, both sides, and then a couple more steps to get up here. The beds, kids said were pretty comfortable. Um, they're not like they're like what you'd have at a camp. Like what you'd have at a camp. Not not like super hard, but there's springs in them. And so they're wrapped in plastic. And they're wrapped like in plastic, camp. all that good stuff. Yeah. So uh, the roof here and the shell is all canvas. It's like, it's like 
It's like drop cloth. Kind of like a big drop cloth canvas sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then here in the middle, what size bed is this? Is it a king? king? A king size bed. Um, so it's, it's a little low to the ground, but it worked out great. Um, so you come here. Um, behind the bed, there's a uh, a window that can, a screened in window that you can open up, unzip, or keep closed. Something else that's nice about this is here you have a light switch that controls the overhead lights. So when you're ready to call it quits for the evening, you just flip the light switch, the lights go out here. Two nice little sturdy kind of end tables on each side and underneath both of them are uh, outlets. They have USB cords, USB ports, and then uh, two plugs on top of that on both sides of the bed. This bed, actually pretty comfortable. Yeah. Um, slept slept really good uh, both nights. There's kind of a little, kind of I'm not sure, a, a bay or something it's you the call seat there. To the stagecoach, huh? it's the, oh, to the wagon. It would be the seat to the wagon. See, look, hmm. if you open this up, I'm with you now. Your feet go out here. Gotcha. I can't reach the zipper, but the dude sits here and his feet go there. Gotcha. We if had you a. Open that up, I can, you okay. can see it. But... See, gotcha. Platform for his feet, and you sit here. Gotcha. So, like if you had little kids, they would love that. No, for sure. I'm surprised, Rob. He didn't know, or he probably I, would have. I would have done acted it. Acted like he was driving the wagon train. So ours was somewhat malfunctioned, uh, in that the canvas probably over time do that first. dries out. I this is my opinion, dries out and it stretches and it shrinks, and so we were unable to close that completely. I looked at other wagons here, and they were able to close theirs so we had to pile up our coats and stuff um to kind of block out any but it did get a little chilly it was in the low 30s both nights so these came in handy right here there they had a kind of an electric heater here on this side of the bed and then over here they had another electric radiator that puts off heat now something to keep in mind there is no insulation here so um, while the heat was nice, it kept it a little bit warmer. It still got cool in the evenings here in September. So we were a little chilly. We bundled up this Cabela's sleeping bag that we have. Worked out very nicely for me and Sandy. And then the kids had these comforters on top of their beds. Um, and they doubled up. Yeah, yeah. because they weren't using the bottom ones, them. so they just used them. So all in all, it's pr pretty good sized. I would... Uh, I would say it's pretty cool. So, Sandy, um, so that's a tour. If you were to come back to Grand Teton area, mm -hmm. would you stay in a wagon again? I would. I would. I love this ranch, too. It's um, it's the oldest dude ranch in America. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I can teach you a lot of things. Uh, but, yeah, and uh, they have the oldest herd of horses here in Jackson Hole area, so... And, you know what, you were asking, I think, what's the difference between Jackson and Jackson Hole, Wyoming, because people kind of use them interchangeably, interchangeably, they interchange them. Anyway, Jackson is an actual city, it's a town, it's got the cool antler arches in the town square. Jackson Hole is an area, so Jackson is actually part of Jackson Hole, but Jackson Hole encompasses Moran, where we're staying, moose just a whole big area it's actually the valley from the mountains it's the whole jackson hole gotcha let's see so anyway there's a little tidbit there you go but yeah i would stay here again the people here are really nice um it's cool they they round up the horses in the morning move them up to the stables in the evenings they drive them back down so yeah so very cool <clears throat> so definitely stay here again it's not glamping um no. the, it, well you, i mean you, it's you, you it's we've, rusted. We've glamped where you have like refrigerators and showers stoves and showers. Your rooms. It, it is not that it's thing. Not that. Um, but it, it is a very cool way if you have, especially if you have kids. I think your kids would get a kick out of it. Ours were teenagers. I think they still had fun. They uh, enjoyed the Wi Fi. The Wi here was insane. <laughs> the Wi Fi was, was. Like out in the was, middle of nowhere, and we had the best Wi Fi of any place on this trip. So. Yeah. So definitely come back. They have cabins. They have. 
uh, they're redoing their teepees right now. So um, they have a lot to offer here. A little restaurant that's very good. A little pricey, but very good. But where we stayed here, we got these. We could have um, stayed a lot of places for $300 plus. These were uh, very affordable for our budget. Yeah. We paid... They were seventy dollars, seventy dollars a night, a night so and for this area, and literally we're just a couple of miles from the national yeah, park. We are so. very central. So all I'd say, we loved it. Good job, Sandy, and finding the place. I am very impressed. You have redeemed yourself from our trip to Boston. Yay. So take that, Lord Lady yeah. and wait. So hopefully everybody has a great day. We're off to see Old Faithful. Thank you.